Godspeed, John Glenn. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. Crew has been awake for about an hour now. We are watching incoming television pictures from NASA. They have had their morning meal. Then are right on the timeline this morning. When John Glenn lifts off from that pad, he'll reignite the meaning of real achievement. And we do have uh, the flight crew getting uh, suited up. And we've got payload specialist number two, John Glenn. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 58 minutes and counting. Standing by now to receive the crew as they depart the operations and checkout building. Let's uh, call it a long hiatus. John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, is going up again today. There is a lot of anticipation here and throughout the country. There's a senator using the handholds to get himself in. Just bounced right in there, and he's up in his seat. Hello, NTD, PS2, com check, over. MPS2, this NTD, I've got you out and clear. Welcome aboard, John. I will probably have tears, and I will probably cry, but that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that, and I'm very uh, emotional anyway, and uh, so that's all right. But I'll be with our kids, and uh, we will hug a lot, and I will pray a lot, and I'll be excited too. And I, I know I'll be anxious, but I will also be um, extremely proud of Dad and the other crew members um, for literally putting their lives on the line, and that means a great deal to me. So that pride is what I, I, I know I'll feel very deeply. We are pleased to be joined this afternoon by another of NASA's original seven Mercury astronauts, Scott Carpenter, and he has a special message for the crew aboard Discovery. Yes, at yes, this, point, at this point in the count, in the count it, seems it seems appropriate to say to the shuttle Discovery crew, good luck, good luck have, a safe, have a safe flight, and to say once again, Godspeed, John Glenn. John Glenn felt bad that Alan Shepard couldn't be here for this launch because it was something that he wanted to live long enough to see again. Sure. And I'm sorry, we're all sorry that Al couldn't see this, but uh, that is the way it went, and we live with that. But you're still a band of brothers in the eyes of the public. Is it true in life as well for all of you? It is. Uh, there is a unique bond and uh, very strong sense of camaraderie that still exists. Scott Carpenter, who was here at the beginning, back up to Mercury 7, joins us once again 36 years later. Final four sequence again, we're going to watch now as the countdown moves very swiftly as John Glenn and his Your fellow astronauts prepare to lift off. To their pre programmed pattern, and they will be verified they are ready for launch. The three main engines are being gimbaled and positioned for launch. All systems are go for launch at this time, just a few minutes away from the 25th voyage of Discovery with a crew of seven. NTLC is go for launch. And TLC is I copy that and we'll hold at T-minus 31 seconds and be advised our hold time there is five minutes and 18 seconds. Range understands hold time of five minutes, 18 seconds. OTC, PLT, caution warning clear, no expected error. T minus 10, 9, 8, we have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Houston Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery.
Discover Houston, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. Shortly thereafter, you'll see the two boosters separate, and that is obviously a critical milestone. There they go. Yeah. Now they continue with the three main engines. Um, and the acceleration obviously is almost uh, back down to 1G, and it will gradually increase all the way to 3G each one minute before main engine cutoff.